everybody it's been again a long time ago then since i have made my last video and this was mainly because of uh, christmas preparations i was busy with other works again and um, the weather was not so good and it's still not good yet but at least it's not raining sometimes a few winds came up and uh, we have about uh, maybe the thermometer is not uh, outside very long so currently it says approximately 12 degrees celsius i think it will drop a little and 49 percent humidity um i think it will drop as well uh, the bow that has arrived 22nd of december was already reviewed and um, many of you may have seen this video already and uh, this bow has been reviewed by Armin Hilmer 11th of September and I think he was still in Malta when he has reviewed it so other circumstances but nevertheless a beautiful bow and still here in Germany it's uh, a casket and um, I had a classmate that was his name was Tunjai um, but without the minus or the space in between the I think it was the artist of the play that we have here as a name. Um, this bow is very special due to its painting. Um, and it's a laminated bow, as Armin already has said. And this is the perfect uh, addition for my um, Turkish bow collection because I have uh, two models that go to the Turkish style direction made by Frank Foss. I have a Turkish monolith by Lukas Navalny and I have a high, so-called hybrid bow by Abu Zagor. And uh, this is then in the same poundage range. The other um, Turkish bow in laminated uh, style is um, the short Zipahi by Vek, uh, but he has only 24 poundage and so if I want to do a comparison video that will follow, um, it doesn't match in this way. Alright, so um, I do the technical specifications very quickly because I have not done it. I have taken the measurements uh, yesterday again and so I will quickly go through. Length, knock to knock, it's 48.5 uh, inches from knock to knock, as I said. Strong is 44 inches, um, brace height is 7 inches, weight I've measured with my scale 300 gram, um, arrow pass 23 millimeters. If I hold it correctly, yes, the casket side is here. And uh, what else? Bending length. Um, so I have a formula where I have the length knock to knock and I subtract the zia length, both and the handle section and then I have the bending length. Um, here we have a fading until here and if I would calculate or measure all this way up from here to there then I would come up to a sum of 11 inches and that would lead me to a long zia and uh, Turkish bowls don't have a long zia. So I've reduced to 10. Um, if you look up uh, SimSec bow, they have um, explanation of the various sections of the bow. Um, this is called Bash, this is Kazan Bash here, and this is Kazan. So there is no Zia. Yeah? So in this case, I've just made it sensually, and uh, so it's a short Zia, as we have it with Turkish bows. And this means that we have a bending length of approximately 31 inches, could be a bit less because we have here a fading and I've measured from here to there, so it's about 7 inches from here. Um, so this is just approximately, so you can see where it's bending, I guess it's a little less than 30 inches. The nominal strength of this bow is 40 pounds. And, um, Oh, we have 51 humidity. Oh, good. Um, we can check it here. Uh, max draw is uh, 29 inches. So for me, this is just perfect because my Turkish draw is about 27.2 and a quarter or 28 inches. So um, if I draw the Turkish style, this is no problem at all. 
and yet here I measure from the outside 37, 3, 4. Do this again. Maybe I was not at full draw. So many here. 37, 5, 8. So, um, due to circumstances, your bow can be a bit stronger if the humidity is low. Now we have for us a high humidity with 52, 51. <laughs> this is good, so it makes it more easy for me today to pull the, uh, the bow. Nevertheless, you should always check um, in case the bow is stronger than 40 pounds, for example, you should use heavier arrows. Um, and regarding the arrows, there is no recommendation by Kesken. Um, Armin said 8 to 10, according to bamboo archery table, it would be 10 grain per pound, which means um, today would be fine with 38 or 390 uh, grain arrows. Indeed, I have here a few for speed testing. They are 400, 407, 408 grain. So this is approximately the 10 grain per pound. And to be on the safe side, I have here created um, new arrows. And the special of these arrows is uh, that these are already heavy carbon arrows. So these doesn't need to be upweighted, whereas these need it. These are the bark 700, so 705, created it for um, a 33 pound bow and needed to weigh them up. And there is something inside, wood, but uh, so that I get to this um, weight. And uh, here we have the same length, so the bow, um, the arrow has a length of 29.5 inches. Um, the point with the, um, mm, the insert and um, the small the hoodie here have, so the point has 105, the insert 60 grain, and this is 5 grains, 10 grains, something. So this is relatively good. The FOC is 12.7%, uh, so it's approximately here, this center of gravity. Alright, um, 600 spine, spine doesn't matter that much, but uh, overall the flight performance is um, from me better if it's 600 or 700, uh, if it's 400. centimeters would be fine because my straw is 29 inches. Okay, and now it's done to rain and, <laughs> and hopefully can shoot later. Okay, back outside again. Uh, it was just a short rain shower and so uh, we continue. Um, before I do my first shots, I would like to show you how the handle fits to my hand can see here um, it's enough beef to um, to hold the bow so it's quite comfortable everything is rounded and uh, yeah so in my hand it looks like this uh, hand size is as always small and uh, yeah good to go very nice ergonomically yeah very good 
And now my first shots. First uh, short distance at approximately seven meters with the heavier arrows. Uh, maybe I should hold the bow. But since um, the handle looks quite um, symmetric, I think the bow can be shot this or that side. Um, but yeah, I've made myself a knocking point. Clever, isn't it? So that I can distinguish between up and down. <laughs> okay. Then. Very nice. So the draw is very smooth. And this is already what Armin has told. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, in this case, my arrows go to the left. And this one went into the center. And now let's check the lighter arrows. Oh, I think this way. Too much up. So sound is very nice too, so it's a very dark sound and as you can see there are no silences in. This one to the left as well, so it's not the arrow, it's my style or my pointing. Show you. So it seems that the one in the center is just an accident. <laughs> a few sunbeams. Who would have thought that? If you wonder what that is, that is a bow stand that I have bought at uh, the fair in Paderborn. And uh, that's quite nice. You just take it out and then put it in the ground and then fine. Very nice. First time use it. Uh, okay. Now a 10 meter line. Just need to adjust my thumb ring. Hmm, sorry about that. It's just a bit. So. Shooting the sun, what can be better than that? Close to center. Across the center, the other side. Center. I show you. First one to the right, second to the left, and third in the center. So, haha, <laughs> sunshine. These are the last sunbeams of this year as forecasted. So, now the reverse draw. Works. Uh, Yeah, and maybe on one foot. Yeah, looks likewise good. Ah, that was the center shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's speed test. Okay, let's check if the Kroni is working today. Oh, I need to use the other one. So first I take the heavy arrows. Hundred forty eight.
149. Duplicated, 149. Now I take um, the lighter arrows with 400 grain, approximately. Hundred sixty six hundred sixty seven hundred seventy three. Oh, that's quite good indeed. Um, because I draw um, approximately 28 inches. Yeah? So this is not scientific in this case, then I would need to have the device Armin has, where I can uh, pull to a certain um, draw length and then release with a certain strength, and then we know perfectly what it is. But uh, with my uh, drawing, I reach uh, with the heavy arrows, uh, which have, I, I calculate later, uh, which are really heavy, uh, much more than required, around 149 or so. And here I, I am between 166 and 173. Um, this is really good. Well done, Keskin. Really nice shooting. Sound is nice, draws nice. And I assume this is a group. Yes. Yes, really cool. Look at this. So I'm not as accurate as Miguel Vera, uh, by far not. But yeah, that's okay. Resume. What do I think of my beautiful Keskin Tunch Eye? Very nice. So it's a very, very smooth draw, um, joy to shoot, um, relatively precise even for me, yeah? And um, yeah, it's always uh, the archer who um, pushes the arrow to the, to the target, not the bow, it's just a help. But uh, yeah, it's easier with this bow than with a more demanding bow. And um, the Turkish bows are, as I think, easy to use. Um, they're relatively short. So if you go onto a parkour, as we say here in Europe, and uh, you walk through uh, to somewhere, um, it's easy to carry. Yeah, not too long that you just get on the trees somewhere or get hooked. And um, yeah, there's power inside. Um, it's made very nicely. I didn't say something about materials before, to be honest. Um, there is bamboo in the limbs. In inside, I think it's ash here or maple, I don't know. Um, both would be possible. And uh, I'm not so sure about the wood here on the bush. And um, we have, hmm, hard to say, the string bitches could be something made of um, an artificial material or could be wood. It's hard to say because it's painted black or it is black. I have no idea. 
and there is glass fiber on both sides and so the bow um, is protected against twisting and um, yeah so of course bow is straight no problem whatsoever it's a lightweighted bow with only 300 gram um, a beautiful performer and um, I'm very much looking forward to the comparison video I will do with this bow and three others. Uh, so that means that you need to be patiently waiting for this video to do because um, I need a bit of time to take all the, the shots and um, I want to have good weather. So here I tried to catch up a bit and I need to be a bit more quick now because dark clouds are coming and um, yeah and the video take it, video itself will take a bit because four bows comparison yeah <laughs> takes a few minutes okay what else to say stringing was very easy I didn't show you because it's just no-brainer and um, shooting was very nice the sound is very nice vibration yes we do have it's one, two, three, gone. And, uh, but this is, I don't know about where I do not feel it. So this is just unfair. And it um, depends on how much you pull. Yeah. So you can play the guitar and then uh, if you have it more. So this is just, if you shoot, you don't recognize any vibration at all. It's just about the shot. <laughs> and this is uh, a very nice feeling. And the draw can see very easy, no problem, going to the 29 inches. And um, I think I, this is already 29 here, because this is where I'm just, and this is the 29. Yeah, so easy. Really easy. Thank you very much, Armin, for giving this bow to me. Thank you very much, Keskin, for building this beautiful Tunjai and uh, for this very nice painting. And thanks everybody for watching. Wish you a good time uh, for the rest of the year, which is not much, and a good transition into 2023. And um, may all your wishes come true. And um, yeah, let's cross fingers for our friends in Ukraine. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.